The 2020s have been marked by highly active and impactful hurricane seasons in the North Atlantic Basin. 2020, a record-breaking 30 named storms, surpassing 2005's 28 storms. Hurricanes Ada and Iota, back-to-back Category 4s, devastating Nicaragua. 2021, the third most active hurricane season on record. Hurricane Ida caused catastrophic flooding in the northeastern U.S. after severely impacting New Orleans. 2022, the most damaging season of the decade despite fewer named storms. Hurricane Fiona caused historic damage in Puerto Rico and Atlantic Canada, while Ian became Florida's costliest hurricane ever. 2023, the most active Atlantic El Nino season on record, driven by record sea surface temperatures. Major storms included Idalia, a Category 3 landfall in Florida, and Lee, a long-lived hurricane peaking at Category 5 before impacting Atlantic Canada as an extra tropical storm. But the question is, will 2024 hold up to its previous years in the decade? Multiple meteorological agencies are calling for 2024 to be hyperactive. Will it meet these extreme expectations? Force our team's animation of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season begins now. Hurricane Beryl it's a category 4 and it's still strengthening and it's approaching rapidly to the Leeward Islands in the Lesser Antilles and it's positioned 10.9 degrees north 55.6 degrees west and it's currently the earliest category 4 hurricane in the history of the Atlantic Ocean. Well, I'm not sure if anyone saw this coming, as Hurricane Beryl has become a Category 5 so early in the season. Hurricane Beryl strengthening as it closes in on landfall, which is expected very shortly. 85 mile per hour winds and an estimated pressure of 982 millibars, 14 miles from its landfall at this stage, right on Matagorda. This is for Satine Live. We are tracking Hurricane Debbie, which is making landfall right now along the coast of Florida near Steinhatchee. The remnants of Tropical Storm Debbie dropped up to 170 millimeters of rain on Montreal, the most the city has ever seen in one day. Currently covering Hurricane Francine as it rolls away, uh, heading straight for landfall in Louisiana.
So in short, it is a very dangerous storm. I think it's pretty much locked in that we're going to have some severe impacts. Hurricane Helene made a devastating landfall on the coast of Florida. Helene had caused catastrophic destruction and claimed the lives of 233 people with 26 missing or unknown. This caused a large scale emergency to be put in place to help those in the impacts the help they deserve. Terrible news for everyone because Hurricane Milton has managed to intensify into a Category 5 major hurricane and still intensifying extremely fast, so of course it is an extremely dangerous situation. Still a very powerful storm, up to 13 feet of storm surge expected in the Tampa Bay area and all around it. This would be the worst hurricane to impact the Tampa Bay area since 
Become an ultimate fan today.